I have the Xiaomi Redmi K30 Pro, also known as the Redmi K30 Pro Zoom Edition, as well as the Poco F2 Pro. And today I'm going to show you how to pass safety net checks on this device, even though you are rooted, even though you have the bootloader unlocked, and even though you may have a custom ROM installed. I'm currently doing this on the Xiaomi.eu version of MIUI. This should still work on AOSP-based custom ROMs, but if it doesn't, let me know in the comments below. So as you can see here, we have Majisk installed, and right here we can go ahead and check for safety net. Naturally, this is going to fail, and as we can see, the type that it's being done is basic. So passing safety net checks is a cat and mouse game. While this method right now works, next week it might not. Tomorrow it might not. Google can change anything on their side to invalidate this workaround. However, again, this is a cat and mouse game, so the developer of Majisk is probably going to figure out how to bypass that again if Google does that. But I'll be sure to keep this video updated, at least in the description of any type of changes that you need to make. So to start, we need to go back into Majisk Manager, and then we need to go, we need to tap this puzzle piece button down here at the bottom floating tab right here. That brings us to the module page, and from here we can search, we just need to search for the word prop, and you should see a module named Majisk Hide Props config. We can tap on that, we get a pop-up asking us if we just want to download it or if we want to install it as well. So let's go ahead and tap the install button. It's going to instruct Magist Manager to download that module and install it and activate it. And we can see that by looking over here in the modules page. We can see not only is it installed, but that toggle means that it is active. However, we need to reboot the phone after we activate a Majisk module. So let's go ahead and reboot the phone. Now we have booted back into the operating system. If you want, we can go back into Majisk Manager just to make sure that that module is still installed and it is still enabled. Now from here we need to download and install a terminal application. I grabbed this free one from the Play Store called Termux, Termux, T-E-R-M-U-X. And when we open that up, we then need to give this application root access. So let's go ahead and type in SU and tap enter. That should prop up the super user request and we're going to grant that access to it. Now that we have granted super user access to the terminal, we just need to type out P-R-O-P-S. Go ahead and tap enter. From here we're going to type 1 to select the edit device fingerprint option. And from here we're going to tap F to select the pick a certified fingerprint option. And this is going to give us an entire list of a bunch of different OEMs. So we're going to type in 22 for POCO. Tap the enter. And we know this is the POCO F2 Pro. So whether you are on the global or European version, choose this one right here. Since I'm on global, it's going to go ahead and tap 2 and enter. If everything's good to go, tap on Y. 
and then press the enter button. You're going to see it take a couple of times to actually bring you over to the next page. And naturally we're going to need to reboot for everything to take effect. So go ahead and tap Y and tap enter. That's going to instruct the Redmi K30 Pro, also known as the Poco F2 Pro, to reboot. I'm seeing people also saying that they can change it to, they can keep the device as the Redmi K30 Pro, if that's what they want. Instead of going through the Poco OEM section of that menu, you would then need to navigate through the Redmi section though. So now we can go ahead and go back into the terminal after the reboot. We can force super user access again. And then again, we're going to type in PROPS and tap enter to activate the script. From here, we need to type two and, pipe and press enter. And then we need to go through and pick from the device of the active list, so F. Then again, 22 for POCO. And then again, 2, in this case, for the POCO F2 Pro Global. Everything is correct. Y. And then we need to do the reboot again, so Y and then wait for the second reboot. This time when the device boots back up, we just need to go into Magisk Manager, and we're gonna make sure that the Magisk Hide toggle is enabled. We can do that by tapping on the gear icon, scrolling down a bit, and you can see the Magisk Hide toggle right there. With the Magisk Hide toggle enabled, we can go back to the main screen, tap on Safety Net, and then make sure that it goes and checks. So there you have it. That is how to bypass safety net checks on the Poco F2 Pro, also known as the Xiaomi Redmi K30 Pro, using Magisk.